my name Anthony Clinton, but the homies from the set call me Tiny Ant. Rich Rollin' 60 Crip. <laughs> Shout out to my bitch in Guam. Jump in the field with me. Stop all that gangsta shit with me. You never this is my hood. I grew up around here, and I loved everything about it. My pop's big stretch used to be an OG from the set, but he ain't shit but a drunk now. My mom, she don't even care no more. She said she done tried everything she could to bring him to the light, but he ain't trying to hear it. Man, I got so sick of that shit, man. After a while, my parents couldn't tell me shit no more. So one day I went out and told the homies I wanted to get put on the set. But you know me, been a squabbler since birth. All six niggas who they tried to have jump me in the hood, man, I beat all them niggas' asses. Now I ain't gonna lie, the boys did some damage. But you know me, youngest turned this in the set. I ain't finna play with nobody. I don't care how big you is, how old you is. I'ma die by my respect. And that day, them niggas even seen that. I packed out all the homies. Can't nobody fuck with me, y'all. And these was my streets. I walked them like I couldn't be touched. Even though I was young, I had to let the world know my name and who I was. Man, I pressed every op I seen. If you was on a corner you weren't supposed to be on, I'll hit you with that. Where you from, cuz? You say the wrong thing, I'll knock your ass out. I'm stomping out ops anytime I see them. I don't care where we at. They'll tell you about me. A lot of them boys done caught these hands. And I was active with that pistol, y'all. Shit, I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. Last mission I went on, that shit was not in. A couple of the homies got popped down. And I got shot in the motherfucking back plane. I couldn't do shit to help my homies out, y'all. Only thing I could do was get the fuck on and go back to the hood and tell everybody what happened. To make money, y'all, when the nighttime hit, I got into my favorite activity, y'all, flocking. For the lame that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about breaking in people's houses. I was making a killing off that shit, y'all. Oh, I need to go holler at Frank and get some real money, though. So I caught a sweet lick in front of Slauson Liquor the other night, y'all. The op-ass nigga look Gary from Families. Man, this nigga ain't even see it coming. He's standing in front of the store smoking a cigarette, you feel me? I creep from behind the cut on him. I walk up on the nigga G-checking. Like, what's cracking, nigga? You on the wrong side of town. I need all that.
So I guess the nigga think I'm playing. He talking about, I ain't giving shit up. Nigga, you gonna have to shoot me right here. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I up on a nigga, y'all. This little scary ass nigga emptied everything in his pockets. I'm like, bitch, I should kill you right now. Ho ass nigga. This nigga had like 1700 on him, y'all. Small ass nigga. I was pissed about that and wanted to kill him. I told the nigga, it's cool. Don't move until I run. So I got the fuck on, y'all. Ran down the block back to the hood, y'all. I know that bitch ass nigga was sick, y'all. Then I find out later on that night, y'all, some hoe ass nigga tried to kill my cousin Lamar in the back of his dispensary, man. That shit blew my fucking mind. I guess him and the nigga got into a shootout. You pussy! Fuck! What the fuck? But I heard my cousin Frank took care of that shit and found the nigga. Blew his motherfucking brains out. I want to be just like my big cousin Frank, y'all. So shit, I'm chilling in front of the liquor store with all that shit on my mind one day, you feel me? Me and the homie Lil Corey. He just cool, man. I'm forgetting that I robbed a nigga the other night, y'all. We cool, man, shit, you feel me? We trying to come up with another lick we can hit. Not looking in the right place. Shit, the nigga Lil Gary spot me. I ain't even peep this nigga though, y'all, but I know the car from the other night. These niggas slide past the store on me. I see that bitch. I'm like, damn, I try to get low and shit, but I knew the nigga seen me. And I seen it was him and a couple of his homies, even though they was behind tent. So I told the homie, look, Corey, if that car's been a block again, nigga, we on. So I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna look this way. You check the other way just in case they try to come from the other side. You feel me? And I knew them niggas was coming right back, y'all. Them niggas hit that same corner and slid back up the block. Once I seen that car again, y'all, I said, we got action. After that, y'all, I was a fucking full-blown shootout in front of the store. I'm talking about we get busy, active, young man. I'm gonna kill this whole ass nigga, man. I can't believe this whole ass nigga tried this shit, man. Yeah, we gonna find his ass. You wanna play with the game? I right, bet. So I know y'all probably thinking, why you robbed the nigga Lil Gary in the first place? So I'm gonna take y'all back, man. About a year ago when a nigga at first got put on the set. So I'm leaving the library after school, y'all. The whole ass nigga Lil Gary and a couple of his homeboys press up on me. Talking about, nigga, where you from? I know you on the wrong side of town. You don't look like one of us. These niggas must think I'm a bitch or something. I'm standing my ground. Then these niggas just start banging on me. I'm talking about throwing up gang signs. Niggas talking about fuck neighbors and throwing up bees on me. I'm like, oh, cuz, you niggas got shit fucked up out here, nigga. Ain't no hoe in me, nigga. So you know what I start doing after that, y'all. I start banging back on these hoe ass niggas, throwing my shit up. I'm like, nigga, this neighborhood crip, nigga. Rich rolling 60s, nigga. I guess that pissed these niggas off, y'all. Cause after that, these niggas tried to jump me, y'all. But you know, your boy wasn't going. I squabble with all you niggas. And that shit was going good for a minute, gang. I ain't gonna lie. But it got to a point, them niggas start packing me out, y'all. I'm like, damn, man. I'm finna have to get the fuck on. So first chance I had, gang, I got the fuck on. And these niggas tried to chase me all the way back to my hood, y'all. 
Nigga almost got hit by a motherfucking truck and everything. I said, oh, on 60, Crip, I catch this nigga again. I'm on it. So the homie Corey funeral was the other day, y'all. Man, his grandma looked so lost. I felt so bad for that lady. And all the homies was pissed about the situation. We have to get some get back for our bro. So it must have been my lucky day or something, y'all. Because later on that day, I'm sliding down the shore, you feel me? I spot the boy Lil Gary Carr at the Swanson swap meet. But you know what I do? I slide right around the side of that thing. Yeah, I was going to make these boys pay for this. Man, you all, I couldn't believe with everything that was going on out here. These boys would be up here sweet like that. But it was all good, though. They was finna learn real soon. So y'all know I creep in the cut. I pop out and up that mug. As soon as I up, man, it ain't even no good. I'm gonna keep up. You gotta keep busting the thing. And I dropped everything that was in the car, y'all. I had to get the fuck on, y'all. I had just dropped three niggas in broad daylight. And I knew it was gonna be hot as fuck over this way. So I hopped back on my bike. And I slide right back to the hood. That's Corner had them boys out there stretch taking pictures of me, y'all. When I felt good about that shit, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I was really just pissed the nigga Lil Gary went in the car with him. About to put my nephew on the hood, add him to the family. Yeah, I feel you. I bet that'll be on the news. Come to find out, y'all. This bitch ass nigga was right around the corner with the nigga OGD. Now I know his bitch ass heard I shot his car up, and I know he was pissed about it. And I'm still gonna get that nigga, y'all. Does he think this shit over? It definitely ain't. After making all that bread from robbing and flocking out here, y'all, your boy felt like it was time to copy him some wheels. So it just so happened I had to be walking by the car dealership. And guess what I see, y'all? A clean box Chevy just sitting up in the front with my name on. And I had about like 25 racks on me at the time, y'all. So I'm like, let me go in and see what they talking about with it. And I walk in that thing, I tell the lady, man, I want that car out front. So she like my boss would be to talk to you. So she sent her boss in. Now this semi Utarian right here, y'all. Shady car dealer. Now the boy really trying to play me a little boy and asking me, can I really afford this car? So y'all know what I did. I put them stacks on the table in front of him and told him, man, where my title at? And I walked out with that thing, y'all. Keys in hand. Man, I should have seen a smile on that boy's face. He was so happy to take my money, and I was happy to take that car. I couldn't believe it, y'all. My first whip, and I cashed out on it all by myself. Now, with it being such a good day that it was already, your boy felt like he needed to go do some shopping. So I went to the Beverly Center, y'all, and cashed out. Now I ain't need nothing too major, y'all. You feel me? Just a couple of outfits. Had to step out here clean on these fools, man. I was the youngest turkis out the set, and I was definitely about to be the cleanest. You feel me? Just in case she get ugly, yeah. Me and my brother stick together like a Douglas, yeah. 
Yeah. After leaving the Beverly Center, y'all, your boy had to hit up Rodeo. That's a lot of luxury stores around Rodeo, y'all. You chill. But I went out there with one thing on my mind, y'all. The Cartier store. With me getting all this paper, y'all, it was only right that I caught me some Cartier bus, man. Your boy was up, and I wanted everybody to know it. After leaving there, y'all, drove the Chevy back to the hood. Man, I know boys was hating on me when they seen that, man. They like, I know that ain't Ant in that thing. Yes, yeah, sir, it's me, boy. Y'all youngin'. Man, my parents were so pissed the next day, y'all. They told me, we know about everything you've been doing out here in these streets, and you can't stay here doing that. So either get you a job and stop all this foolishness, or you got to go. And my mom studied complaining and complaining. My pops just standing there. He ain't saying nothing. Looking like a straight buster, y'all. I'm telling her, man, I ain't getting no job, man. I grew up in this. This is the lifestyle that I want. I'm grown. Man, y'all can't tell me what to do. And I'm telling Pops, man, you ain't no man. You ain't going to say nothing. You just going to let her sit here and regulate everything. He talking about, you should have did right, man. If you was doing right, we wouldn't be acting like this. And all that. Man, I wasn't trying to hear that, man. I told him, man, you ain't nothing but a drunk, man. I used to look up to you when I was growing up. Oh, you ain't nothing to me. So after that, y'all, I walked away. If y'all wanted me out, I was finna go. And I ain't know what I was finna do, y'all. But I stood on my pride. And I couldn't let them see me sweat. I was gonna make me a way out here. And just at that point, y'all, I remember one of the homies said I could stay with him if something never went down. Man, y'all, I got tired of listening to the homie and his baby mama argue all day, man. I couldn't take it no more. So I went and hollered at the only person who I knew could help me out with that situation. My big cousin Frank, you feel me? Man, y'all should have seen how Cuz had the spot. I'm talking about it was like something out of straight up movie. I'm talking about guards everywhere with them straps out. Cuz had it on lockdown. I was like, damn, that's how the boy living? I definitely gotta see what's took Cuz. So y'all know me, I woke up in that thing. And I ain't seen Cuz really since he got out, man. So this was perfect timing, you feel me? I'm happy to see him, cuz look hella stressed out, you feel me? I'm like, damn, what's on this fool, man? You know what I'm saying? I pimp up in there, you feel me? I'm like, what's cracking, big cuz? He like, just the man I wanted to see. I need to holler at you, cuz. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about you in the street. Then he started giving orders to his soldiers, y'all. Man, cuz was so charismatic, y'all. It was like looking at Big Tuck again, you feel me? Man, them soldiers were soaking in everything that fool was saying. I'm like, damn, I want power like this one day, too. After that, cuz was like, come all at me in the spot real quick, man. So y'all know me, I was ready. I'm like, yeah, I definitely need to holler at cuz, man. Something got to shake. I need to get money like I see he get. Man, I get in the spot, y'all. It's work everywhere. And I'm talking about everywhere. I'm looking, I'm like, damn, I ain't no cuz was getting to it like this, you feel me? Then I start telling you about my situation. I'm like, cuz, I need somewhere to stay, man. I'm homeless right now, you feel me? Moms and them kick me out. I know you can help me out. He like, listen, I hear you, but I'm hearing about all this wild stuff you've been doing on the streets, man. You got to stop that and calm that down, man. We do not conduct business like that over here. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell him, like, yeah, cuz I understand, but it's how a nigga was raised, you feel me? I'm just going off what I know. Like, I ain't had nobody to show me the way, man. You was locked up, man. You was the only nigga that I was close to, you feel me? He like, listen, man, that's cool and everything, but that ain't no excuse, cuz. You want to do this right, you got to listen to me, man. He like, I'll put you down with the crew, but you definitely got to be on point. And I'm listening to him, y'all, you feel me? Because I'm definitely trying to touch some of this big piper. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there soaking up all the game that cuz giving me. Little do he know it. He like, listen, cuz, I got a spot for you in Davis. You can stay there until you get yourself right. And I'm going to toss you, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of work, you feel me, and try you out. You do good, you with the team. That's all I need to hear, y'all. I ain't going to lie. That shit definitely put a smile on your boy face. I was ready to prove myself, y'all. And I knew I had it in me. Look where I come from. He was like, what's mine is yours. And I was like, damn, that's real as hell. He was like, look over there in that box. There's some work in there. And it's the keys to the crib. You know I always got you, cuz. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Your boy did not know having your own spot to be this fun, man. Now the homie said from the hood, you feel me, he called one of his little homegirls up and she ended up pulling up one of her friends. So you know, we all just up there chilling, vibing, dancing in our little mode. And I'm definitely trying to see what's to shorty. She looking hella cute. Whole time, shorty on the same type of time I'm on talking about some. Yeah, I heard about you, aunt, and I think you know why I'm here. I'm like, oh yeah, baby, say less, man. You know your boy don't play around. So you already know after that game, shorty get to walk into the room. I'm thinking in the back of my mind, like, ooh, wee, your boy definitely finna clap these cheeks. As soon as I get in that thing, y'all, Shorty already laying on the bed waiting for me. I'm like, yes, sir, ski. At the same time, y'all, I get a text from my cousin Frank talking about some come outside. I need you to take a ride with me. Man, I'm like, this better be important, man. So I tell baby, you stay right where you at, shorty. I'll be right back. And I tell cuz, I'm like, man, hold the spot down, homie. I'll be right back. Soon as I get outside and get in the car, y'all. I tell cuz, I'm like, man, this better be important cuz you just stopped some spectacular clapping the cheeks, my nigga. He like, listen, man, I need you to take a ride with me and look at something. So you feel me? We get the ride, and we ended up pulling up to the back of this building. Now, I ain't knowing what's to this building because it looked crazy back here. So we get out, cuz, like, listen, man, I'm thinking about expanding over here into the south side of Vagos hood, man, and I need somebody on point over here. I want it to be you, man, but I got to know you down for real, and you really trying to get this money, cuz. I'm telling him, like, yeah, cuz, you know you can count on me, man. This the type of boss move I've been waiting on, man. You put me in charge over here, man. We gonna take them boys off the map and we be running everything over here. Don't even trip, cuz. I got you. But I still had unfinished business to take care of, gang. You feel me? So word on the street was the boy little Gary had him a little apartment, you feel me? In the back of the liquor store on Grove Street. Y'all know I still had to make that boy pay for everything that he did, gang. I told y'all I was going to get him. Soon as I get the boy low, you feel me? I go steal me a car real quick. I'm like, yes, sir, ski, we finna score tonight. I 
I pull it down full block, man. These boys ain't even out there paying attention. They out there high and drunk off their butts, man. I'm like, oh, yeah. I just got to avoid being seen, and I'm sliding right on the boy. Man, these fools ain't even see me, and I draw right past them, y'all. How dumb can you get? Your boy did not come to play, you feel me? I hopped out the bushes with that big Drakey. I'm like, man, these fools really don't see a dude more black creeping behind them. I could have killed everybody out there right then, y'all. But I had to take care of business first for the fun. I get in the spot. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you know what time it is, fool. You thought you was going to keep playing with me and get away with it? I'm like, boy, get your ass on the ground, man. Quit playing with me, man. You already know what I came here to do. He like, bro, listen, bro. It ain't like that, man. It ain't got to go down like this, man. I got pounds of weed in there. I got money in the safe, whatever you need, man. Just please don't kill me. Man, that boy sitting down there crying like a little girl, y'all. Was so gangsta at first when he had me. And I had that grown man crying. Man, it was funny, y'all. And I was finna make that boy pay for everything that he did. For little Corey, for bullying me, for shooting at me, all of that. You done for. And I let him have it, y'all. Dumped the whole clip in that fool, y'all. I ain't even want the work or the money in that thing, y'all. I just want a revenge. And I knew after I let off them shots, somebody heard it, you feel me? Because dude get to coming out trying to bust at me. Y'all know I laid him down. Then I laid the other fools on the block down. I had to make a statement with this kill, y'all. Y'all After that, y'all, I'm just sitting up there like, damn, I really just whacked, dude. That's crazy. Who would have knew it would have been this easy? I know it took some time, but we figured it out, y'all. Now, we had just open shop on the south side, y'all, you feel me? But word travel fast out in these streets, especially when you out here getting to it. These boys over here was not finna just let us roll over them that easily. Nigga, you only have a star, but this ain't Grand Theft Auto, though. You riding around with a chopper. You want to hit him in his mama. You think this Grand Theft Auto, huh? It's that you hit him in his friends. They post it all on Instagram. Y'all see that old Grand dude right there, y'all? That's Diego Spider Mendez, leader of Vario 13. They have been running things over here since the 80s, y'all. And that's his little brother right there, y'all. Antonio El Toro Mendez. The muscle of the crew. You think this Grand Theft Auto, huh? <laughs> you must think this Grand Theft Auto. So I guess word had been traveling about how good the work was that was coming from the I 60s, you feel me? And them boys did not cold. like that one bit. But you know fiends get high and they get to just saying like anything, y'all. Like, but this approval fatal like mistake for that thing, y'all. I'm think this Grand Theft Auto. I'm a rock star. Just crashed As soon as they got through questioning that boy, they blew his brains out. I want a ball, but I slam on with Gucci in a mall. I think this grand theft auto. Now we up in the markets, put some money in your head. Now you a target. I think this grand theft auto. Nigga, what you want to do? It's really hard for the shoot. I think this And the boy Spider said, I think we need to pay a visit to our new neighbors. Welcome them to the neighborhood. Yeah, I know this all. So him and his cronies mounted up, y'all. I think y'all know where this is going next. Crying about why I'm up in jail and all that, nigga. 
Nigga, you shot a nigga in front of the police station, bro. Whining and shit, nigga. Niggas be clowns, bro. Nigga, if you dug it, then you dug it. Man, nigga. Stop telling. Stop telling the truth. Nigga. This ain't Grand Theft Auto, bro. It sound cool, though. This is real life. Grand Theft Auto shit is cool, though. Till a nigga get in jail, niggas crying. Man, free Draco, he ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Shit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, like me and the homies unaware of this situation the whole time, you feel me? We just out there on the block, chilling, kicking the bobos. You know how that go. And these fools pop up on us. Talking about some welcome to the neighborhood, my friend. But if you want to do business over here, I think you need to know there's a 60% tax on anything that you make. And it's non-negotiable. Man, y'all, they had the boy fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. Soon as he said that, y'all, me and the homies upped on him. Like, man, we ain't paying you shit, man. I don't know what you think this is. I ain't never got extorted, and I ain't finna start now, man. So you and your boys, y'all can get up out of here or get killed. Just like that. Man, y'all, them fools got the up and all different type of straps. I'm like, damn. I did not expect them to roll up on us like this, you feel me? He like, like I said, it's non-negotiable. That's what it costs to do business over here. If you don't like it, take your ass back to the west side. We don't need you over here. Then his brother get the mouth and off talking about some, let me shoot him, bro. Let me shoot him. I'm like, man, you better shut your brother up or I put a hole in all of y'all. And we just arguing back and forth, y'all, at that point. It ain't getting nowhere. But it was never going to get nowhere. Because you don't give me no ultimatum, man. I stand on everything that I do. I made a promise to cuz. I knew that wasn't going to be the last that I seen of these boys, y'all. But whatever they wanted to bring, I was ready for it. I really was just pissed about them rolling up on me like that, y'all. Like, who the fuck do they think they is, man? This our city. Now, they ain't know that yet, but they was definitely about to find out. I was going to put all them boys in the ground. I actually don't need to holler at cuz about the whole situation that happened with the Mendez brother, you feel me? So I'm at the spot one day, and I'm like, shit, that's perfect timing. So I text cuz and tell him 911, I need to meet with you ASAP. And he tell me he on his way. Man, that boy pulled up in that nasty 23 blue vet. I was like, damn, in my head. But we have to talk about the business first, you feel me? So I get to telling him about the whole 411 with the situation, how the Mendez brothers trying to extort us, talking about if we want to do business over here 60%. Because, like, listen, man, I gave you this branch. I believe in you. You do as you see fit, man. Them boys want a war. It's all our guys, no breaks. You know how that go. I'm behind you 100%. I tell him shit, say less, cuz. Then he yanked off on me. He said he had some more moves to make in the city, you feel me? At that point, y'all, one of my little hoochies had texted me, you feel me? She like, shit, baby, I'm trying to smoke and chill. And y'all already knew what that meant. I tell her, baby, I'm on my way, say less. Now, I know what everything going on out here, y'all. I wasn't supposed to be on the south side, but it is what it is. So, shit, after me and Shorty get through doing our thing that we did in the crib, you feel me? I'm outside smoking one more blunt, whatever you feel me? Finna yank off on her. Just out there talking shit, kicking the bobo, you feel me? At that same time, y'all, some of the Vario Rancho 13 boys was walking down the block. And these boys spotted me and the whip in Shorty Driveway. Yeah, I have fucked up, y'all, and then he didn't know it yet. So they get up on me. They like, what you doing over here, Holmes? The boss told you you have no business over here. You must got a death wish. I'm like, man, fuck you, fuck your boss. I go where I please. Y'all niggas gonna have to make me get from over here. And then them niggas got the up and strap, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I see what time it is. 
They're like, oh, yeah, um, well, your ass ain't making it out from over here. You fucked up, babe. Eh? And Shorty's sitting there looking lost and confused. I'm like, fuck you and your boss, man. Do something. And them boys definitely got to doing something, y'all. Sure, you just standing there the whole time. I'm starting to think this hoe set me up, y'all. I may be wrong, but they only on my ass. They ain't doing shit to her. But you know, I'm trying to hold my own. But at a certain point, y'all, you got to know when to fold them. I'm trying to get the fuck out of there, y'all. Them boys are really trying to kill them. Your boy almost ain't make it out there with his life, man. But y'all know I'm a soldier. I got the fuck on. Man, I couldn't believe them boys that pulled a brazen ass move like that, man. So later on that night, you feel me? I got a couple of locs together. And it was time for a hoot ride. We was finna go do a demonstration, put a real classic down. Y'all think y'all gonna play with Tiny Ant from 6 0 like that? Hey, y'all had everything fucked up. Anything that we caught out here in they hood, y'all, we was gonna put it down. And I'm talking about anything. Oh, we slid through that shit, on, dropping everything, y'all. If you was out there and you looked like you was a gang member, your ass was dying. We have to show these boys six holes wasn't be played with y'all. Yeah, shot your man's gone ramen noodle dishes. All They had me so turned up, y'all. Your boy said, fuck it. I hopped out on foot on that ass. Big street sweeper on me. Blowing shit down, you feel me? Still want to smoke after all these fools we smoked, y'all? Them boys was definitely crazy for real. Oh shit, a couple days later, I'm chilling at the crib, you feel me? I get a text from my cousin Frank. He like, go outside and look in your driveway. I left a little gift for you. I wonder what it could be, y'all. When the Mendez brothers had heard I had came through and sold their projects up, y'all, they was real pissed about that. That boy Diego was like, he tried to show these fuckers kindness. He tried to help them out. He tried to give them an alternative, and this is how they repay us? I want all those fuckers dead. They think we're gonna play this? We cannot take this laying down. We lay down all those fuckers and show everybody in the city. You fuck with us, you're done for. Wipe all those fuckers off the map. I don't care what it costs.
His lieutenant's like, I understand, boss. We'll wipe all those fuckers out. Don't worry about it. Get the boys together. We're riding on those bintejos tonight. Now, you know when I had caught wind of the whole situation, y'all got a couple of the homies together, you feel me? And I told them, man, them boys think they gonna push us off the south side? Man, they got another thing coming, man. They must not know who this is, man. This sick so crip. We ain't backing down from nothing. Them boys want a war, we gonna give it to them. And guess what? We gonna come out on top. You already know how this shit go, man. And I was speaking that gospel to them boys, y'all. I had them boys looking at me just like them boys that looked at Frank when he was talking that day. I could see I had all my soldiers' attention and all their loyalty and all their heart, y'all. And that's all I needed to know. I told them, them motherfuckers want this, we gonna ride on them too. We taking out anything. We ABK now. Anybody can. At that point, y'all, this was the start of a long and bitter war. And I ain't give a fuck. I was built for this shit, y'all. The war between us and VR 13 turned the whole South Central into a war zone, y'all. I'm talking about shots was letting off everywhere at all times. We ain't safe for nobody out in these streets. Them boys did they thing, man. I ain't gonna lie. They struck on us first. I ain't even know they was gonna try to go to the hood and pull what they did. They did. Right back ain't cheap. I'm sick so crit. You can't write the way shit shred shit too.
with all that work going on, y'all, your boy had to get the fuck up out the hood. So I called my cousin Frank, and he told me about this realtor and had her meet me in the suburbs, you feel me? You know, she showed me this nice little crib. She was telling me, you know, they only want 200000 for it. I already talked to Frank. He said he going to take care of it. Do you want it? I'm telling her, hell yeah, I want it. Listen, man, tell cuz it's a go. From that point, y'all, your boy was a new homeowner, you feel me? Finally had a crib that wasn't in the hood. Man. It felt good. I felt like I could breathe again. Man, this new crib was nice, y'all. I felt like I was bored. I couldn't wait to bring the honeys here, throw little parties, all that, man. Y'all should have seen the smile on my face. So I just posted up in the hood one day, you feel me? Cool, man. Politicking with the homies, you know what I'm saying? Let you know all the major news you can get out, you know You know, regular hood stuff. I, I put me on that one play. I get money too. I get dirty with the best and I get ugly too Brody talking gunplay And that's the ugly truth You're supposed to be my dog Why you switch around? All of a sudden, I'm cracking here Run from across the street and run up on me Man, that fool me off so cold I'm like, what's going on, homie? What you need? Keep that motherfucker on me I got some real important information, man I heard them essays on the south side Now the cops dope the money And it's back at him I'll show you what a second is Now I know that information right there Is worth some good money I'm just trying to make my daily racket too Cause that shake back 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 I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, hey man, listen. If your information good, I might be able to look out for you. You know, I'm telling you, I would not lie about this, man. You know, the streets talk. I'm still serving with my Reggie and my brace back. I say that. I'm playing old school A that. I'm like, all right, man, like I said, I'm looking to. And if your information check out to be anything, man, I'm going to have the homies look out for it. I'm going to bless you with a nice zip for that. Oh, my God. I'm going to crank that. Supercharge, Yiki, ain't no pet pet. I'm guaranteed a trap trap. Got to slam it out your living room. Make sure I wouldn't got it. I'm determined, bitch. I'm going to get a drone. I need some nice little blow. I ain't going to lick in a minute. I'm going to break. Let me paint a rose. I told the homie, I'm like, yeah, cuz. We finna go look at that. I'm going to break. I'm going to break. I'm going to break. I'm going to break. Bop at his friends. We the boppers, Junkie Bop Bop. Bop Bop. Whole squad got shit. All this cock cock. Damn, it's that shake back. I got shake back. All the nuts going down. Send the shake back. ASAP. Junkie Bop Bop. 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 Bop Bop.
When I got back to the spot and bust the bag down, y'all, your boy found like four bricks and three hundred thousand dollars in cash in the bag. You feel me? Man, I was geeked up like a motherfucker. I'm like, what I'm finna go spend all this free cheese on? You feel me? And the possibilities was endless. After getting off of all that work, you feel me? Your boy had almost made half a million. So you already know what it's time to do. Frank couldn't be the only one out here with ice and chain for it. was sound well for it. I had to watch, I had the earrings, I had the glasses. But it was one thing you boy was missing. Salvation comes at a price. And it's a price worth So your boy had to go holler at the people in Vangelico, you feel me? You already know what time it was. I was finna go bust my neck down, you feel me? Now, your boy had already had a chain on layaway, you feel me? I know that sound corny, but I told the lady, I'm like, I'm here to pick up a chain, you feel me? She like, what kind of chain? I'm like, listen, man, it's a $185,000 big-ass Cuban chain, man. It's in the back. I already know it is. I talked to your boss, so I paid for it. Man, yo, I walked out that thing with it, you feel me? Man, my neck was dancing, and that thing was heavy. When they couldn't see me out here, you feel me? The biggest loaf with the biggest chain, you feel me? When I was finna shit on the whole street. Everybody in that thing, man. The boy Tiny Anna came up. But I wasn't done there, y'all. After spending all that bread on the chain, I had to go one up it, you feel me? Know where I went. It was new whip time, you feel me? Time to add something else to the fleet. The boy Simeon was already expecting me, because I had caught the head. I went that thing, I said, hey man, my man Anthony Clinton, I'm here to pick up a car, you feel me? She like, oh, okay, Mr. Clinton, we got you. After that, y'all, your boy got that Dodge Demon, Charlie. On them forgies. Man, that thing was so clean, y'all. Couldn't nobody fuck with me when I seen that joint. I said, yeah, we finna pull all the honeys. Everybody finna be hate. I had my homie come up there, you feel me, to drive the track car. Man, I was finna clown in this thing, y'all. In my head, I'm like, shit, who wanna race for pink slips? I'm burning y'all. <laughs> It felt good to be living nice.
felt untouchable, y'all. Anybody want to smoke behind this lit, come get it. Like I said, y'all, it's the biggest love. A demon and a demon. That lick I hit y'all really put a dent in the Mendez brothers' operation. I'm talking about them boys were stressing y'all fucked up. Now they lieutenant come back and tell them, we've been looking for little aunt. We ain't been able to find them, boss. But don't worry, we're going to get the money and the drugs back. Man, that boy Diego wasn't trying to hear that shit, y'all. Them boys was in there oodin' up off that powder. He's sitting there trying to make it right with him because it really fall back on him. Like, listen, I don't want to hear the bullshit you're talking about. You don't got my money or my fucking drugs? This all falls back on you. I put you in charge of that operation, Angel, and you let me down. You know there's consequences that come when you let me down, right? You're like, listen, boss, I told you I'm going to make it right. Like, I don't want to hear that. It's too late for that. You know what I do with failures. Failure is not an option around here. And I think his brother Tony already know what was going to happen, y'all. Because that's how he rolled, too. Them boys really meant failure wasn't no option in their organization. The boy Angel lost his life that day. I'm talking about filth they boy up full of them things, y'all. Oh, the boy Diego, like, we need to get someone competent in here to be a lieutenant. We got to figure out something to hurt that boy in, bro. He's like, yeah, I feel you. We can come up with something. I know we can. Just like that, y'all, in that organization, it was next man up. So the boy Diego get to telling him, like, Luis, it's your turn now. But if you let me down, you'll end up like Angel over there. Don't fuck with me. Now, just like I told him, don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with me. I'll take you out just like I took that motherfucker out. Do you understand me? You motherfucker. Like we still got the money to fund this war. Now get out there and find me something good. Get some of the boys together, Holmes. I'm gonna go right out looking. Just like that, y'all, the boys was on the hunt for me. They weren't gonna find me, though. At that same time when all that happened, y'all, your boy sliding through the city in that demon thing, you feel me? I had been tearing up the streets with that thing since I got it. But I hadn't seen moms and pops in a long time, man. So I thought I would swing by and holler at them, see how they was doing.
I'm like, what's up, Miles? How you been? She's like, oh, if it ain't the biggest drug dealer in the city. I heard so many bad things about you, boy. Killing, stealing, robbery, everything. I'm just sitting there letting her talk her trash, boy. Because she was right. But I'm like, dang, man, I'm still your son. She like, listen, you need to stay far away from me, Anthony Clinton. I don't want nothing to do with you. Man, that hurt my heart, y'all. I even tried to give mom some money. I gave her $50,000. i am like, here, any help you need on the bills? I got it. She like, take your drug money, boy. I don't want to see you. I asked her, I'm like, so where Pops at? She like, oh, you know him. He probably out here wandering the streets. And after that, y'all, it hurt my heart, man, but I had to leave. At least I tried to help. She might have looked at me as a bad son, but I thought I was a good one. Right after I had left there, y'all, your boy had to pull up to the gas station and get him some petrol, you feel me? So it must have been my lucky day or something, y'all. Because guess who pulled up to that same Shell gas station? I don't know. The shorty from the crib when the fools tried to kill me. And she got one of the boys in the car with her. And I peep her as soon as I walk out, you feel me? But she ain't paying attention, so I don't think she peeped me. So I just go and pump my gas, try to stay out of sight. So she hop out, you feel me? She walked past. But she caught me. And I know she caught the car, too. She knew she had fucked up. And she walk up on me. She like, damn, aunt, that's how you play it? I ain't heard from you since that shit happened at my house. I'm like, yeah, man, about that shit, man. What's up with that, man? I think you have something to do with that shit, man. Because why the fuck you ain't get hit up like they tried to hit me up? She like, aunt, I would never. Like, yeah, I hear you. I know dog in the car, like, what the fuck going on? Because he couldn't have been paying attention because he was the hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling her, I'm like, listen, man, it's all good. I ain't mad at you. She like, yes, you are. Otherwise, I would have been hearing from you. I'm like, baby, like I said, it's all good. But you do got to die for that shit. Not upped on her, y'all. Shorty had to go, you feel me? And the boy that was in the whip with her. Blue they asses down at that gas station, y'all. I ain't give a fuck. You cross me, you gotta die. Now, just like Mons was saying when I had visited her, Pops was on that same bullshit, y'all. Wandering the fucking hood, drunk as hell, you know. I'm talking about Slizzer. That's what the homies telling me, because they seen it. Man, that shit was so shameful, y'all. I was really embarrassed, and I love my pops. But the nigga was a real embarrassment, you feel me? This nigga be so drunk. It'll be shit going on around him. He don't even get no fucker notice. I'm talking about almost getting hit by cars, all that shit. It was sad, y'all. And I wish I could got him some help. But I couldn't before. Because the only thing he cared about, y'all, was that motherfucking liquor store. On VR 13, boys, y'all. They had been out on that hunt the whole day, y'all. Like I said, they couldn't find me. 
They better be glad they didn't, because they would have died. But this shit that was about to transpire next, make a wish that they would have caught your boy. Pops ass sitting in front of the liquor store, drunk as hell. Now they rolled past the scene. But they ain't stopped because the bloods was out there earlier. But them boys come right back later on that night. This nigga still there, y'all. Now the boy find him, he say, Hey, are you Harold Stress Joseph? Like, yeah, that's me, man. What you need? You know, Pops don't know what's going on. He like, I need you to come with me, motherfucker. Like, I ain't going nowhere with you. Oh, you're gonna get the fuck up. He like, man, leave me the fuck alone, man. Like, you think we're playing, motherfucker? We'll kill you right here. You better get your drunk ass up. Piece of shit! Fucking puto. Hmm? Hmm? Eventually, Pop's like, all right, man, all right, man, just hold on, damn, let me get up, shit. Punk-ass motherfuckers. This nigga still drunk, y'all. Just like that, y'all, them fools had something that I love very dearly. And when they get back, the boy like, boss, I got something I think you're going to really like. Like, I will bring it in then. Now they got my pops in there. He's still drunk. He like, listen, man, if this is about money, my son aunt got plenty of it, man. Just please don't hurt me. He like, ah, ah, so you know why you're here. See, that's exactly why you're here, Carnal. Your son, Ant, he stole some nice cargo from me. And we're going to get it back out of your ass one way or another. Now reality done finally kicked in on Pop Shaw, and he realized his ass is in real deal trouble. He like, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You lucky you're more worthy alive to me than dead. Otherwise, I'd blow your fucking head off right now. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to call your bitch ass son and see what he has to say about this. Now at that time, you all, you feel me? After all the shit happened earlier throughout the day, I'm just in the hood with the homies, you feel me? Chilling. You know, out there talking my shit, man. You know, your boy love the hood. Couldn't keep me out that time. When all of a sudden I get a phone call from the boy Diego talking about some, yeah, you little bitch. We got your dad. And that's all I heard, y'all. After that, I just start cussing like a motherfucker. I'm like, bitch, quit playing with me, man. I don't know who the fuck you think I am, man. Stop calling my phone with that bullshit, though. I thought these fools was playing, y'all. But the boy sent me a picture to prove that the shit was true. Oh, that shit pissed me off even more, y'all. I'm like, ain't this some motherfucking shit? I should have knew me pulling that move wasn't gonna go without repercussions, y'all. But I was on demon time for real now. I had to find a way to get my pops back, y'all. No matter what it took.
And on their end, how the conversation really went was, Hello? We gotta talk. Yeah, you little bitch. We got your dad here. And you got 48 hours to bring me back my drugs and my fucking money. Otherwise, I'm gonna splatter this motherfucker's brains all over my fucking carpet. Do you understand that, puto? I told you before, respect me or you fucking die. That's right, fool. You better fucking show some respect. Oh, you think I'm playing, huh? I'll send you a picture of the motherfucker. Keep shit, Holmes. Do you think that it worked, bro? Oh yeah, bro, I know it worked. See, that little fucker's gonna show up to the meet, and we're gonna kill him and his fucking dad. You fuck with the Mendez brothers and you finished. This is our fucking city. So I know y'all have probably already have seen this part, you feel me? But you know, I had pulled up on my cousin Frank, you feel me? To get some more work and some bread, and, you know, try to figure out how to get my pops back, you feel me? So, you know, we had chopped it up and cleared everything up, and after that, he had wanted to show me the new TA that he had just copped, you feel me? That mug was clean, you feel me? And you want to look at the demon that I had got, you feel me, you know? Just sitting back getting a kick it for a while, you know what I'm saying? Because you definitely don't be able to talk like you want to with all the business that's going on. In the midst of us sitting there kicking it though, y'all, I mean, y'all already know how the next part go. We had got slid on by the boy Joe Hunt and his family. Crazy too, though. But y'all are, no, we wasn't there. Even after everything that I had going on with the Mexican on the south side, y'all, we still had stuff to deal with on the east side, man. And I was blowing me. We had to get out of there after that, y'all. The area was finna get real hot. So you feel me? I pull off from there. I'm like, man, I'm just finna go to the crib, man. Try to get my thoughts together. So I pull up to the crib, you feel me? Walk up in that thing. When I get up in there, my girl like, bae, you straight? I'm like, man, bae, I just almost lost my life out here, man. There's too much going on out here in these streets. And I don't know what I'm finna do. They still got my pops. I still ain't got enough money to get them back, man. I feel like my life just falling apart right now, you feel me? And I don't know what to do or who to turn to. But I know I got this. And if they keep playing with me, I'm going to kill everybody. She like, babe, you need to go lay down. I'm like, you know what, man? You right. So after that, you feel me? We tried to get some sleep. It was kind of hard, though, man, with everything that was going on. Now at that same time, you all, some of the VR-13 boys that scoped the crib, I don't know if they follow me or what. But they was outside peeping the scene, getting ready to make a move on your boy. And 
And once they peeped that everything was clear, they start making their move. Now I end up hearing the footsteps outside y'all so I told my girl stay right here babe I'm gonna go check it out. I couldn't believe these fools that follow me to the crib y'all. Y'all already know how I went out that. Another full blown shootout the same night. Man I laid them fools down. You think you gonna come to my crib and fight games with me? boys lost their life that night. Diego really thought it was a game. So you want to meet me, but then you try to get me killed. Like, okay. So I go back in. I tell my girl, like, babe, we got to go. Get whatever you can grab. I got a bag right here. We got to get out of here. I got another spot we can go to. She like, all right, babe. So, you know what I'm saying? After that, you know, we peel up out that thing. I wasn't safe in the hood and I wasn't safe in the suburbs, y'all. Life could be real crazy. I had a lot on my mind, y'all, and I still hadn't got that much sleep yet. I felt like all this pressure was trying to make your boy crash out. But I wasn't going to give in to it. Luckily, y'all, I still had the keys to the crib and the blood to it. So, you know, we had to go camp out there for the night, you feel me? Until I could figure all this out. Now the next day, y'all, the VR-13 lieutenant that had snatched my pops up, he out there in his hood, you feel me, and his little lowrider showing off for his homies. He snatched my pops thinking everything was going to be sweet, y'all. Like he was in the clear with that. Whole time, y'all, me and Frank had some boys sitting on him. You feel me? He ain't even peeping it right across the street from where he at in the projects. My boys was getting ready to snatch him up as soon as time was right, y'all. So I guess he get tired of hanging on the projects with his homies, you feel me? My boy was finally finna make a move. So, you know, he just cruising through the south side, you feel me? Carefree, worry-free, you feel me? My boy's on him the whole time. Like, you gotta be real stupid, you don't see a cartel in you from that close of a distance. I guess the boy I ended up pulling up to a little motel on the south side of their hood, you feel me? I don't know what he had going on out there. But the homies had peeped that. 
And they let him make his little move, whatever it was going to be. After sitting on him for a few hours, y'all, it was time for my locals to make their move. They caught this fool outside on the phone, y'all, lacking. Like, yeah, boy, you know what time it is. You snatch my homie Aunt Pops. You coming with us. It's time to pay the piper, fool. That boy knew he had him. He couldn't do nothing. He was dead to rights. So he knew the smart thing to do was listen to him. So he hopped in. After getting that fool in the car with him, y'all, my homie sent me a text and said, we finna pull up to the spot with him. Be ready. I said, all right, low. He in the car talking trash like, man, y'all don't know who y'all messing with. Y'all gonna die once my boss find out about this. The homie's like, man, shut up. Man, y'all, I was so geek when I seen that Denali pull up on me. I said, oh yeah, it's time. You know, the homies get him out. I'm like, hey man, so where my pops at, man? You thought you was just gonna snatch him and get away with it, huh? Man, you must not know who you're dealing with, boy. This sick old crit. We ain't let nothing slide. You know, he's sitting there trying to play tough and all that. I'm like, boy, you think I'm playing? I will splatter your brains all over this concrete right now, man. You got one choice, and one choice only, fool. Give up the information, and I might let you live. He like, all right, man, all right. They got your pops in a foundry in East LS. Just please let me go, man. I didn't want any parts in this. I was just doing what I was told. I'm like, good. That's all I need to know, homie. But unfortunately, I can't let you go because you might go back and tell your bosses that we know everything. And I lit his ass up, y'all. I have been going through a lot, y'all. And maybe me shooting mess out this fool was letting out all that frustration. But after that, I told the homies, man, y'all get this all cleaned up. I'm finna get a crew together. We're going to get my pops tonight. That boy Diego thought he'd play with me, y'all. Yeah. All right. He was finna see. Anthony Clinton don't play with nobody. And just like the VR-13 lieutenant had said, y'all, them boys was definitely there. The boy Diego truck is parked right outside that thing. I ain't gonna lie, we had to go in this thing and we had to do it smart if we wanted to get out alive. Cause they definitely had some firepower on the inside of that thing. Boy Diego just sitting there taunting my pops. Like, yeah, just wait till your son gets here. We're gonna kill you both. That was the plan from the beginning. You guys actually thought you were gonna get out of this alive. No one messes with the Mendez brothers and lives. We're gonna end this all tonight. My pops just sitting there scared, y'all. Whole time, y'all, the cavalry was on the way. We was finna make a statement in this thing.
When I got out the whip, I gave my soldiers a speech. I said, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being here tonight with me, you feel me? Y'all ain't had to come. And some of us might not make it out of here alive. So be prepared for that. But if you don't, just know I'm going to make sure your people good forever. Because y'all put y'all life on the line for me. And I love y'all boys. Y'all already know what it is. This six out. Now let's get in here and get my pops back. It was go time, y'all. So you know me, I lead the charge. As soon as I get up in that thing and get set up real fast. I catch one of their guards by the door. Blow him down. That started a big shootout, man. So my bullets flying everywhere. The boy Diego even came out shooting. He knew it was over for him when I caught him up. He talking about I put the whole clip in him, y'all. No mercy. This is what I had wanted to do since day one. He played with me. He kidnapped my pops and tried to get me killed. After laying everything down in there, y'all, it was time to secure the perimeter. And see where my pops was here at. Man, when I finally found that fool, y'all, I was mad, but at the same time, I was so happy. I was like, I'm here for you, old man. It's time to go. He like, listen, and I know I ain't been the best pops in the world to you, and for that I'm sorry. And maybe it's partly my fault that you turned out this way. I'm like, listen, old man, you gotta say the speech. We gotta get out of here right now for the rest of their reinforcements get here. We can talk about this later. I'm just happy to see you. We got up out that thing, y'all. I've been catching so many bodies, y'all. I was numb to death at this point. Just the life of a street soldier, though. That's what we signed up for when we jumped in the game. It was hard losing homies all the time and taking all these losses. But I knew the cost when I jumped in. This wasn't going to be the last loss either, y'all. But it wasn't enough to just lay the boy Diego down, y'all. I had to add insult to injury since he played with me like that. So y'all know what I did. I threw a grenade at that fool truck. Hmm. Let your brother Tony come find this. It's good we got up out of there when we did, y'all. Because Tony got there a few moments later. I'm talking about 45 seconds later, y'all. When he pulled up, oh, I know he was sick. First thing you see when you pull up on that thing is that truck blew up. So he already knew what time it was. He getting there, you feel me? He see the soldiers' bodies laid out right there. And out the corner as I, y'all, he peeped. His brother laid there dead. Now, he was already crazy, y'all. But I think I snapped something even bigger in that fool head. said, we got to get out of here, Vato. 
That fool Ann is going in the ground. I'll never get my brother back. We have to take his life from him for that. Like I said, y'all, them boys shouldn't have played with me. I lay the murder game down every time. This wasn't the last I was going to hear from Tony or the VR-13, you all. If anything, this only escalated to war to a bigger point. After getting my pops out of there, you all, and getting rid of all the clothes that I used in a shootout, it was time to take him where I should have been taking you all, to rehab. I finally had the money to do something about my situation, you all. So I took him there. And we finally got a chance to have our little heart to heart. I told him, Pops, even though I always said I ain't respect you, you the only Pops I ever had, man. I remember when I was young how I felt looking at you. I want to be just like you. You like I know, son. And I know I've been letting you down a lot. And your mom. I don't know how I fell into it like this, man. But I do want to get better for you, man. Being the drunk that I was almost made me lose my life. And hurt you and your mama. And that ain't fair to none of y'all. I said I understand, Pop. And as long as you willing to get the help, man, I'm willing to help you out with anything you want to do when you get out of here, man. I love you. So, you know, we sat there, kicked it, chopped it up for a few more seconds, you feel me? Just talking about whatever. Now they put a smile on my face, y'all. Finally getting some type of closure about this situation, man. And after that, y'all, my pops was on his way to get clean and start a new life. Man, after all the BS I had been through in these past couple days, couple weeks, couple months, y'all. It was nice to finally have one happy moment, man. That definitely put a smile on your boy's face, man. I was definitely gonna sleep a little bit better at night knowing that this situation was resolved. South Central Law Scandal, y'all. The city looks so nice from a distance, but it gets so grimy at the heart. 